Mobile Geek's coverage of MWC 2015 is powered by ASUS. Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks right here at MWC 2015, and as you can tell, I have a Sony Xperia device here, and this is the new M4 Aqua, which is just launching today, and it is a 5-inch mid-range device that has a bunch of features that are brought down from the higher-end Sony smartphones. So we're talking about a 5-inch screen on here that has a luminous display, but it's only a 720p resolution. It's definitely got very nice viewing angles. You can look at it from pretty much any angle, and the colors are also pretty nicely reproduced. Um, we are running Android 5.0 on here, so as you can see, I have all the blobs and bloops going on from uh, the new Android operating system. It's still a very early version, which is why this device is only coming out later in spring, because they still need to work on the software. Under the hood, we have 2 gigs of RAM, which is one of the pieces brought down from the higher-end devices, but all the way mid-range, we only have 8 gigs of onboard flash storage, but you can extend the storage through a micro SD card slot. And as typical for a mid-range device, we have a LTE-capable Snapdragon 615 in here, which is the MSM8939 that's running eight cores, of which four are A53 cores, running at up to one gigahertz, and the other four are ARM Cortex A57 cores, running at up to 1.5 gigahertz in this case. Um, on the front, we have a five megapixel camera, another feature that is being brought down from the higher end devices from Sony and on the back you get a 13 megapixel sensor also typical Sony sensor in this case and they have an LED flash integrated right here there's NFC I already mentioned the LTE and there should be gigabit Wi-Fi on this device too as you can see from the reflections this is both uh, sides are covered in glass as usual and it attracts a lot of fingerprints Sony has been cleaning the devices constantly on the show floor here in Barcelona. Um, there is a 2,400 milliamp hour battery integrated in this device, which is still pretty, thin, pretty thin and weighs in at just 140 grams, which is a good value for such a big battery. The 2,400 milliamp hour battery also makes it possible to use this device for up to two days on normal usage, that's what they're saying. And if you employ the stamina mode, it's gonna last even longer in this case. Um, let's take a quick tour around. I told you about the cameras already, but let's take a look at the sides. So here we have the nano SIM slot up here, and there's this flap on here because this is IP64, uh, 65 and 68 certified, so you should be able to take a dive with this, which is also the reason why it's got the Aqua in the name right there. Uh, we have the power button on the side right here, and I kind of will never get used to this uh, because Underneath it is the volume rocker, which is kind of the oddest placement on the planet because it's kind of crampy to actually have to move your fingers down here to turn up or down the volume, but not everybody has big hands like I do. Uh, we have a micro SD card slot for storage extension that I was talking about earlier, and we have your micro USB 2.0 port. Up on top is your headset jack plus the noise cancelling mic. And on the bottom, there is pretty much nothing except for this, what looks like a speaker, actually. So I was rolling with Mobile Geeks, checking out the new Sony Xperia Aqua, or in this case, M4 Aqua, at MWC 2015. And if you like what we're doing on our channel, give us a thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, and we will see you later. Bye, guys. Mobile Geeks coverage of MWC 2015 is powered by ASUS. Yeah.